For those of you who don't know, I'm Aidan. This is the story of my barn conversion. Um, I'm at the shed, borehole shed. I, um, I'm down for a couple of days because the uh, lads for the borehole are coming, hopefully on Monday. Um, they should be coming this time because I have basically said I'll settle up the invoice as soon as they are on site. So never pay in advance unless it's just like a proportion of it because that, that gives them an incentive to actually work and do something because otherwise if I paid and then they had other jobs they'd just put me to the back all the time. Don't want to have that. Anyway, see this. I've bought it off my neighbour for a fire. He's got a massive wood pile over there. Obviously it's a bit rotten at the top and everything. But my door's not as big as that, so I can use like the middle section, and then um, I'll sort it out. I want it to like fit in and look like rustic kind of thing, but obviously it needs a bit of wood treatment on and stuff like that. So that will be my project tomorrow. I also need to clear out the um, the barn. I've got some stuff stored in there what little roofing's left underneath uh, there's some insulation I need to pull out and put in here I'm going to clear that out and then I need to whack the roof off I need to organise getting the asbestos guys in and, uh, yeah. there's, there's stuff I'm waiting for planning at the moment which is being it's, there's an issue I'll discuss it later in another video obviously getting the roof off is a little bit precarious I'll try and film some of it hopefully me not falling off so here we are in the uh, bedroom wing this is bedroom, I'm going to say two. I need to tidy this up, get that off. Let's try this. precarious up there. We have light. So this whole thing, when I was up there I could feel it wobbling and I could sit there and go like that and this whole wall just goes like that because it's sitting, it's probably about three or four hundred mil deep just sitting on mud. crack that's not a crack this is a crack <laughs> if the council don't let me take this bit down and rebuild it they are just absolutely they're crazy morning just in the caravan chilling chilling chillaxing <laughs> um Old mate, he's turned up to sort the bore out a bit. Let's see, it's just gone half nine. I was just kind of like laying here, relaxing. I didn't want to get up here. And then uh, I just chucked chuck my clothes on so he could get in. I had to open the gate and stuff. So yeah, he's uh, digging the manhole in at the moment. I'll show you. There he is, digging away. I don't envy him, this this ground is super hard. There's loads of flint in it. So yeah, he's, uh, he's having his workout today, isn't he? So he asked me whether I wanted the uh, manhole 
uh, finished flush with the ground or slightly above it. Basically, if it's flush, there's a chance it might fill up with like runoff water. It can contaminate your, your supplier, basically. So I said to him, if like if it's flush and it feels like water, isn't that just like a bad install? And he said that no. Nah. He said it happens still. I'm not sure whether I believe him or not. Anyway, I said just finish it above. It's fine. So he's going to take the sample today. And he's also going to do the pump test. See how much yield I'm going to get. Eleven meters five to the water. Sixteen three to the bottom. So I'll sit your pump. I'll sit your pump at sixteen meters. So it's three hundred off the bottom. So after you've pumped it slow for like half hour, or whatever. Yep. So that that's when you can turn it up and actually figure out what the yield's going to be. Yeah. Yeah. That's when I can turn it up. So then I follow it down, follow the water down with the dipper. Right. And then see where it stabilises. But usually fine with these small bores, you can pump them flat out in there. Yeah. Absolutely fine. So yeah, my next door neighbours. That I know that they're well, um, that's nine metres deep. And nine metres, yeah. This one over here is probably a little touch touch deeper, but they've said, well, this neighbour anyway, they said that theirs has never gone dry. Obviously, they've got a bigger capacity anyway, so. Does it. Obviously, like if, if there's been like no rain for like a good, good while. Yeah. Is They'll run out of water, but you won't. Because in a well, you only have a metre to two metres of water absolutely most in it. Yeah. In the height of summer last year, the water level dropped by two metres. Oh, wow. And we went out to so many people with water, I went out to load. They're like, I've got no water. All right. Lifted the well up. I said, yeah, you got no water in your well. Yeah. Yes, I have. I said, Brilliant. Where's all my water gone? I was like, water table's dropped. So I said, well, what do I have to do? So I like, well, you've either got to wait till the water comes up or you've got to have a borehole drilled. <laughs> so they'll run out, you won't. That's been pumping like a couple of minutes. Proper clear, like you leave that running for about half an hour on a slow rate, and that pulls all all the sand through where it's going to pull through. So to begin with, obviously it was yellowy, so that was the sand. So now it's clear, so it's, it's pretty much done. You said, but you need to leave it running just in case it's pulling water from further away, and then that sand falls in, and then it's sucks it through basically. So it's nice being near running water. I'd love a place with a stream actually. So what you really want is like a nice house, a nice bit of parch pasture, a woodlands, a stream, a waterfall, unicorns and rainbows. <laughs> Just a dream you know. You always need to compromise, do, do what you can eh? 
he said he might see if he can run the pump at full whack just to see if the water drops basically um, and that will give us a good idea of whether I'm going to need uh, an extra tank or not hopefully I won't need to but he, he said that he doesn't know whether it, uh, one of them extra holding tanks will fit through the door on, on the shed uh, I've done that door massive I should be putting the shed door on now but I almost can't be bothered it's, it's too nice today, nice and sunny. Mm. So they test how much water's coming out. So there's a little black mark there. I assume that's a 20 litre mark. They just time it, calculate it out. So we're aiming for 40-ish litres a minute. That's to stop the pump air rating. So we've got like a little valve and they just turn it down in the end, kind of like restricts it. Watching that in slow motion, you can like see all the little like, bees flying about and like little butterflies. The boar guy's gone now, so I'm gonna start digging my swimming pool. <laughs> Crazy! So, this is my temporary setup. You have a look. So, yeah. Got me power running to here on an extension lead at the moment. This me a little flip switch. Um, so we'll see this will get sorted out properly when they come back. So I need to trench this. I'll put in some ducts in underneath and then run this pipe in. So let's get the door done. We'll see it's a bit bashed up around the edges, but I'm not using the majority of that part anyway. So I'm going to take this off here and then go down up to this board. So then three boards are going to be taken off at the edge. So I'm going to cut the edges first and then we'll see whether it's like that or like that. And then uh, I'm going to trim the top slightly. I'll, sh I'll show you on the back. So this is the board that I'm taking off. The reason why I'm doing it that one is because obviously this brace bit goes from this board upwards. That will keep the door from sagging that way. So if I take that off, then I can come across and take these off. So I need to cut down here, this bit here, and then um, we'll go from there. So this section here and the top section. I don't think that they're square to the slats so that's why I'm cutting the edges first and then I'll see whether I need to go like that, like that. This magic moment.
sort that out and tidy it up and everything. I'm going to insulate it as well, might as well. Check that out. Chances of that, eh? Nice one. I need to make up some doorsteps as well. So you see these blocks can't stay. I reckon we'll call it there. See you later.